Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com here doing a quick video reviewing the brand new Google Calendar application. This is uh, brand new for Android 5.0 Lollipop. Should roll out soon. I do not have a download link to the app yet. Uh, check back regularly on my website. I'll post one as soon as it's available. I'll even post one in the description if it's available. So just kind of keep an eye out for that. And if you want to follow me on social media, I will notify you right away if I have a download link to it. So right now on my Nexus 9, it did come with it. So that is why I can show it off to you. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So going into it, obviously you saw the new icon right there. Right away it opens up this uh, view. It's material design. You'll see a bottom right, there's a plus button to add a certain event. When you add an event, you can add people. I'll get to that in just a second. Uh, continuing on, if you press this uh, three dot menu button up here, you can change the view from month to week. So that's what week looks like, which is usually what I use. So it kind of gives me a time frame of certain days and when things are. So you'll see I added certain events. I'll talk about those in just a second. If I go to day, it just shows the specific day. I had no events today, so obviously nothing was gonna show up. And then there's schedule. Schedule is one of the uh, best things I believe about this update. That's because it doesn't give you, it doesn't show up days that you don't have events at all. So you'll see, I only have events from the 5th, and then the 7th, the 8th, the 11th. It'll show them up, and it'll show them up with icons depending on what it is. So I just added this today once I got the app to show this off. I said cocktails with Jason. I put that in 6 to 7, and it already came up with this little icon because I typed in cocktails. You'll see I put dinner with Jason at Chipotle. What do you know, it came up with a Chipotle icon right there. So you can sw scroll through. And also, another nice feature, I believe this will only be on tablets. Um, if I go into landscape mode, it has a really nice view where you can quickly skip through months. And you'll see when you slide down, it'll highlight what day you go to. So if I want to go like four months ahead to March, I can. And it'll just basically go to each event in each month. So scrolling through, it's, it's a really nice look to it, honestly. Especially when you add a lot of events. I haven't added very many yet. I'm definitely going to start using it a lot more. Uh, if I go ahead and tap on one of these uh, one of these days, if I tap on the 20th and hit plus, it's going to bring up the 20th and I can add an event for that day. So that's just another, I really like this look. I'm probably just going to stick with this for now because um, it's going to tell me when my events are and just basically lets me know it doesn't show extraneous days where, oh, there's nothing going on that day. Now continuing on, there is another nice new feature called, uh, it syncs with your uh, Gmail account. So what that means is when you get a certain specific email, let's say you, um, you're you going on a flight, going on a trip, what it's going to do is when you get that confirmation email in your Gmail account, it's going to automatically sync that to your calendar so it knows. It'll basically be like Google Now but with calendar events so it'll show up on your calendar. I, um, I believe it doesn't sync um, past emails, only future emails because I have a couple uh, flights pretty soon and they don't show up at all on my events so I don't think it syncs past emails only future ones for now um, hopefully that changes we'll see also one final thing I don't know why I didn't have this turned on but they have seasonal illustrations for the background so depending on what month you're looking at you'll see the illustration in the background changes so you got a winter one um, I mean it just changes based on whatever month you're in and I'm of course with the weather as well so I'm assuming once you get to May June August it's going to be nicer things. So there you see that. Uh, if I go into landscape view, I'm actually going to go to schedule and you can see more of that illustration. So uh, depending on what month you're in, you'll see it changes. So that's really nice. It's a nice little feature. I guess it, it gives it a good look to it, especially with the material design um, and just the various images. So yeah. Now another final feature I want to talk about is the assist feature when you add an event. So if I hit plus, it's going to show an event for today. Uh, it says enter titles, people, and places, whatever you want to enter. So if I wanted to say dinner, so D-I-N-N-E-R, and it's going to give you suggestions right here. If you want to say with mom, with dad, at moms, with parents, with friends, you can just click on that. Or you could say at a certain place, and you could say with. So if I say at, um, I'm going to say Chipotle again because uh, that's pretty much where I'm going to go out to eat. So if I select a Chipotle, it's going to come up with a list of Chipotles based on where you have been in the past, I believe. Uh, probably based on maps data so and then you can also say with certain people will give you a list of email addresses and I'm just gonna say Jason of course so there we go and there we go so dinner at Chipotle Mexican Grill with Jason and it's gonna also offer you other options if I want to tap another person and another person and then it can notify them as well 
if you uh, send out a notification. So if I hit check right here, it's gonna fill in all that information. Um, if you wanna invite people though, and you want them to get notified, you can tap invite people and then type their specific email address so they get an invite to it. Otherwise, it just says who you're going with so you know. Now if I save that event, that'd be today. So there it goes, it shows up. It's little icon is just a map to where it is. If I tap on it, it's gonna show up. Oh, there's a nice notification letting me know, obviously, because it was pretty much now. So it showed up a notification. It gives you information about it, all that good stuff. And that's pretty much it. So that's assist. Um, and when you, it'll learn from the things you type in. So if you type in, hey, uh, go to the gym at this time with this person uh, every other day, it's going to know that and it's going to keep, uh, I guess, guessing that and assisting you. And so you can just tap with, 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 and it's going to learn from the things that you type into your calendar. And finally, if I swipe to the left, um, you can, I believe, turn off events. You just tap the icon and they'll go away. Reminders, I had the World Cup showing up as well from a little while ago. If I go to settings, uh, here's general settings right here. So if I want to notify all those notification settings. Also, uh, you can actually turn off uh, sync with G events from Gmail. So if I want to go to events from Gmail, I can turn that off if you don't want that at all. So if you find that it's cumbersome that it's adding those things, then you can obviously shut them off and you don't need them. But that's about it. Uh, pretty much everything I wanted to go over, uh, this icon right here takes you back to the current day. So you'll see I'm in January, I tap on it, it brings me right back to the current day. And that's it. So I'll give you a little list. This is the calendar view. Um, if I go into landscape mode in this, it's the exact same thing. It's pretty much just when you're in the schedule is when it shows that really cool um, little icon here. I just really like this look. They did a good job with the calendar app. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Like I said, I'll get a download link going as soon as I can find one. So stay tuned for that. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Subscribe to me as well. I'd really appreciate it. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. If you give this thumbs up, I'd really, really appreciate it. And thanks for watching.